Moto is definitely in the top 10 in the country, if not the world, today. It's not in the reviews yet, but that's because that takes time. It becomes an experience rather than just food on a plate. You know, yes, we're working on innovative dishes and, and trying to make things that are creative, but what more can it be? Chef Homaro Cantu on the brink of conquering sugar. My God, this guy is going to change the world. This guy's going to save the world. We're going to be doing great things in the future. The world will shortly know uh, what we have been up to. I'd like to introduce you to a bold new American thinker whose ideas may change the world. He didn't shoot for like little things, you know. He wanted to like go to that next level. Our ultimate goal is to eliminate refined sugar from the human diet. He wanted to improve people's lives because he knew what suffering was about. When I was really young, my mother, sister, and I were homeless for about three years. And my mother had drug addiction problems. My father just wasn't there. And so we floated from homeless shelter to homeless shelter. And he spent time being homeless. And I think that he really had the sense of, we can solve these problems. And the bigger the problem, the more he wanted to solve it. Restaurants work on thin margins. So what I've been doing is I've been funding this lab with my own money from Cantu Designs. And I've gotten to a point where I'm maxed out. We're eliminating the sugar so you don't have to think about all the bad things that you're eating. It has a little protein on it that's gonna make these lemons taste as sweet as lemonade. He could be the first chef to ever get a Nobel Peace Prize. I don't know if his agenda was to ever make money. I don't, I don't think so. You invested in the right guy, you invested in the right place, sometimes it doesn't go. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. We have liftoff of the Falcon 9.